Okay, so today I'm going to be putting in an aftermarket graphics card. This is what I went with. GeForce 8400GS. 512 megabytes DDR3. Memory card RAM and, mem and motherboard RAM are completely different. They're interchangeable. The RAM, DDS or DDR, DDR3, is what the graphics card itself uses. So if you're thinking, well, I need one that matches the motherboard. No, you don't. The graphics card uses its own RAM. The motherboard uses its own RAM. So I'm getting ready to put in the install disk. So let's see how this goes. Supposed to work with XP. I'm assuming this is a 350 watt power supply. That's what it says to use. So we'll see if it's compatible or not. Read the discs, see what it comes up with. I'll come back when it does something. Oh, there it goes, extracting files. Says it says Windows XP, so we'll see. We'll come back when it's done installing. Okay, minor snag. Tried installing the drivers and it said it couldn't because no compatible graphics stuff was installed. It's been a while since I put a graphics card in, so I just assumed you ran the drivers first, then you put the uh, card in. I'm guessing you put the card in first, then probably install the drivers. I didn't want to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 4. I don't know if I need it or not. He said it needed to be repaired. Try repairing it. Then it said fatal error. Whatever the hell that means. So anyway, I put the card in. I'll put the computer back in. I'll leave it hooked up to the VGA for now. And see if I can install it. It's supposed to be for Windows XP. PCI Express 2.0 X16. That's what this is. So... Let's try again. Now, now it says preparing for install. Still didn't want to install or repair the .NET 4 framework. I have to do that on my own. Now it says installing. So let's see if it cooperates. Continue anyway. Doesn't work, I remove it. I doesn't like this version of XP. So I'll come back when it decides to do something. When it finishes installing. Well it installed. See the graphics are a bit smaller now. Still going through VGA right now. Got the full two gigabytes of RAM available now instead of the 1.87. Study out the graphics card because I blew an onboard graphics card once on another computer. But it run Microsoft Train Sim. I was running the uh, Trains version with the Z. T R A I N Z Trains by Aurora. Well, it used to be a roar now by somebody else now, but it blew the onboard graphics card. So we got the full two gigabytes back. You can see everything's on the single now, not double file. So I have to go into settings and adjust the resolution, but Next step now is to hook up the uh, DVI switcher. 
see how that works. So obviously the real test will be will the game still work. Let's see, will it even load? I'm not going to run the game, I just want to see if it loads. My bitch. I don't have the audio cable plugged in at the second. Loaded. All right, so so far it's working. Time will tell how well it will work. They said it didn't pass the Windows logo test for compatibility, even though it says Windows XP. Motherboard is supposed to be compatible, PCI Express 2.0, X16, and that's what this computer has. And that's what the car is designed for, so it's probably just two newer drivers, but... So far it appears to be working. Let's go install the uh, DVI. This is the DVI switcher here. And in true China Pride fashion, this button was missing when I got it. It was in the package, so I just popped it back in. It had managed to pop out. Got the two cables in one, in two, and then out. So, uses a AC to DC adapter. So I'm going to have to get another power strip. But just temporarily, we'll hook it up. Alright, here it is hooked up. Button two is for the HP which is displaying. Number one is for this guy. So see how this is how number two works. We'll switch this over. See no signal at the moment. Turn this back on. See what happens. playing. We'll come back when we get the home screen or desktop screen that we can adjust the uh, graphics. And we're done. Here's the new power strip. Mounted it to the backboard here using four number four sheet metal screws. 14 gauge power cord rated at about 1800 watts. So I got the switcher, the computer, and the speaker plugged into it. So it frees up some outlets on there. They didn't have any more to spare. Plugs into that outlet up there. Yellow cord. This is the brand from Walfart. Also picked me up a USB hub 2.0. 11 fucking dollars is what Walmart wanted for this damn thing. 11 dollars for 2.0. Because we got the one USB port up there and it's being taken by the uh, wireless keyboard. So, that's what I need this for. So, that's that. Both computers are hooked up now. Got their own power. Switcher to switch between the two monitors, or two computers. This is computer number two, the HP, right now. I got some stuff I need to burn. So, that's it. Graphics card appears to be working on this thing. I left it on, no problems. Windows Media Player 11 plays, no problem. Plays off the CD, but YouTube won't work on this on these e-machines, though. 
too choppy and uh, laggy. So I can't handle YouTube. So, but no big deal. It's main, mainly for XP games, so that's what it's used for. So, thanks for watching.